welcome to all of you. Anyone uh, ready with uh, presentations? Professor. On IDOCS. Sir, I to prepare the document, sir, but the overall the concept which you discussed yesterday and before yesterday, we mm -hmm. have a brief idea. Yeah. But uh, to make uh, as a storyboard, uh, I take some time, sir, to, to consolidate. Anyone, anyone uh, who will give the demonstration on IDOCS? Okay, whether you are not prepared, but anyone other people? Yes, I can. Sir, I can give, but uh, I don't have any expert on the server, sir. Just I can demonstrate uh, on uh, Notepad. Yes, no sir, problem. Demo. Just demonstrate. Okay, that's enough. What? But I cannot demonstrate. Yes, sir. Yes, go on. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, hi, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, so this is Manjuna. Okay. So today I would like to explain about the concept of IDOC. Okay. So IDOC is nothing but it is a data container or data carrier. So on the other hand, we can say uh, it is a mediator. So we can transfer data from one source to other source. So let's say for example, so SAP to SAP, or non-SAP to SAP, and SAP to non-SAP. For example, SAP desktop means, so for example, you have a client data and then if you want to send data from client data to another client, like 600. So this is uh, uh, like known as so SAP to SAP. And the second one, non SAP to SAP means, so for example, uh, uh, sending in a vendor invoice from vendor invoice to the company. And third one is SAP to SAP means, SAP to non SAP means, so sending purchase order to the uh, vendors. So these are the examples. So the full form of IDAC is intermediate document. Okay. So these are two types. One is uh, inbound or say IDAC. The second one is outbound IDAC. Inbound IDAC means non-SAP to SAP. And the outbound IDAC means SAP to sending data from SAP to non-SAP. So let's discuss about the types of records in SAP. So there are three types of SAP uh, records are there. One is control records. And the second one is a data record. And the third one is status records. So in control records, so by using T code or EDA, EDA, EDIDC, so we can search in uh, this data in uh, table SC16 onion. So it includes information like sender information and uh, sender and the recipient information. And moreover, it contains information like uh, partner and technical information, address details, okay, and other details. Coming to the data records. So in data records, so by using T code uh, uh, EDID4, we can search the data regarding data records. So it includes like a segment data. Segment means like uh, it contains a parent segment and child segment. So it's usually uh, so this segment consists of vendor and customer information. And third one is status records. So status records includes uh, it's a, uh, by using T code EDIDS. We can search the data in SC69 table. So it includes uh, like uh, uh, whether the IDAC is success or not. Beijing this option, uh, stress records we can come to know. Okay, let's move to the so types of messages in IDAC. Okay, so message means uh, it is used to do send the data from one source to other source. So just uh, message could be a like uh, there are several messages are there. Okay. For example, uh, just give one example. Payment, invoice, okay, sales order, purchase order, goods receipt, building. So these are comes and message steps. Okay. So if you want to send data from one source to another source, both should have either ALE or EDA. For example, uh, so if I want to send WhatsApp through WhatsApp to you. So in the same at the same time, we should have WhatsApp messages. Otherwise, you cannot send messages. Similarly, so if you want to send data from one source to another source, so both parties, okay, both parties means both receiver and sender should have either ALE or EDA. ALE means application link enabling, and EDA means electronic, electronic data interlink interchange. Sorry. So what are the teams should be involved in IDOC preparation? So let's discuss. One is FI team and basis team, ABAPR, interfaces, bank team. So these are all teams should be involved in IDAP preparation. So let's discuss one by one. 
So you find them mainly involved in um, so testing and prop pattern proper preparation. And basic team should involve in port creation, RFC destination creation, and logical system creation. And developer mainly involved in segment creation. And interface means so like uh, tracks are it is also called as tracks or PA team. So this team check only whether the file format, which file format it is. And bank team mainly involved in testing purpose. Like, uh, so this bank team file may accept file or not, may not. So let's discuss some IDA cases in, uh, okay. For example, um, usually we'll get to uh, one kind of error in IDA that can, that there is no global company code assigned to company code. So, if we face this kind of error, okay, so we need to resolve by using, uh, using T code BD87, which means reprocess. So, before reprocess, we need to do some configurations in cell, by using T code cell. So, the path is uh, SPRO, business management, and IDAC compromise interface, ALE, and modeling, implementing business process, and global organization units and cross systems business series. So we need to do some configuration in this. So in order to rectify this error. And the FI related error is, so in purchase error, if you won't give uh, like a cost center, profit center, okay, then error will be occurred. And moreover, so while it's creating invoice, okay, so if not given segment, so that time also we'll get another. So in a third error is internal order. If your order but your budget is exceeded, so then error will be occurred. So in order to so resolve all these errors, we need to reprocess in BD87. So before reprocessing, basis team and so direct all these errors. Okay. So let's discuss how to send data from one logical system to another logical system. So first to in order to send data from one system, one source to another system. First, we need to create uh, one vendor master material. For example, if we want to create, if we want to send data uh, for vendor, so we need to create vendor uh, details in XK01. For example, if we want to send customer data details, we need to create uh, customer data details in SD01. For example, if we want to send material details, so we have to create in, in MM01, like this. So with the help of this vendor, once you create all these details, we'll get one, gender, one number, like a uh, number means vendor number or customer number, material number. So with the help of this number, we need to so create one partner profile. So partner for we need to create partner profile in W20, WE20. So basically, we need to create partner profile based on client requirement, which partner we need to prepare. And moreover, we need to fill partner type, partner role, etc. Some partner types is uh, KU denotes with a uh, partner, and LI denotes with a uh, vendor, and LS denotes with uh, logical system and bank also one type of partner. So while create, while create, uh, creating the partner file, we need to give some message types which helps send uh, data from one source to another source. Message types means like uh, already I discussed you, okay, like customer, material, one vendor or invoice, all this comes under message types. Okay. So while, while creating partner file, we need to have, uh, we need to link client which means uh, logical system details. So these details we can view in SCC4. Yes, uh, SCC4. So similarly, so we can uh, create other details also, like uh, uh, in BD12 um, for customer related and BD10 for the material master limited. Okay. Then uh, some important T codes in IDA is uh, to so to display IDA is a W02 or W05. Or W07 or W09. So for inbound message number is uh, so 0 to 49. For in sorry for outbound uh, for uh, for outbound number for outbound message number is 0 to 14. For inbound message number is 0 uh, 52 50 and above. And success message number is inbound is 53. And success message number uh, number in outbound is 03. And payload message number in uh, inbound is 51. So if you want to do any modifications in IDOC, so also known as IDOC testing, so we have to use deep code WE19. So once you uh, do any modifications and uh, any changes in uh, W19, we can view in uh, details WE02. 
So if you want to create an RFC destination, okay. So we have to use Q code SM59. Okay. So if you want to create port port details in IDAC, so we need to use Q code W21. So ports, there are two types of ports are there. One is transactional port and second one is the file port. So usually port link with the RFC destination. Okay. So if you want to uh, create maintain distributed channel in IDAC, so we have to use the code BD64. Okay, so if you want to create generate partner profile in IDOC, we need to use the team code W20. So if you want to delete the any IDOC, uh, we need to use team code W11. Okay, so let's discuss changing IDOC from successful to failure, vice versa. I mean, failure to success. So the process is we need to run one program by using uh, team code SC38. In that SC38, we need to use program uh, RC1 underscore idoc underscore sct underscore status so by using, by running this program we can change the data from successful successful to unsuccessful and unsuccessful to successful and moreover we need to uh, uh, use the uh, number 26 in the change status and at the same time we need to remove the test mode and to execute the program. then we'll get idoc number uh, we'll get messages like idoc converted so this is about the concept of idoc Thank you. Okay, great, nice preparation. Anyone? Anyone say something at least five minutes? Anyone is there? Okay, so who will explain tomorrow? Just to put the name in the chat box. I will say tomorrow. Okay, just put the name in the chat box. Now, hi, sir. Yes. Uh, now I will explain briefly. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, all. This is uh, Venkata. Uh, today I will explain about uh, a brief introduction about uh, IDOC. Uh, first, what is IDOC? Actually, IDOC generated when we will run the uh, F110 uh, in APP. What is the IDOC? IDOC is nothing but a intermediate document. It is the uh, carry of data from uh, sender to receiver. Either SAP to SAP, SAP to non-SAP, non-SAP to SAP. Once uh, we uh, we create IDOC, we need to check whether it is uh, generated or not first. Next, after generating IDOC successfully, it will be sent to uh, some uh, PI people. PI people check the format of the file, whether it is MT940 format, uh, it is correct or not then it will be sent to after the all verification it is sent to bank bank will pay the money to vendors uh, applications of idoc idoc is not only used for, for payment of uh, uh, when payment purpose it is also used for creation at the time of uh, purchase order and sales order and uh, invoices and also some material uh, creation and also idoc is used for uh, transfer of data from legacy system to uh, sap system it is one of the uh, tool used at the time of uh, transportation of legacy system to sap system there are uh, two types of uh, idocs one is inbound uh, idoc uh, one uh, Another one is outbound IDOC. Inbound means uh, coming to uh, sender from outside to incoming. Outbound means from SAP to outside. And also, there are three types of records in IDOC. One is control record, data record, and uh, another one is uh, status record. In control record, uh, uh, it consists the data of uh, basic types, extension, and uh, IDOC type also. And also, it consists of messages. 
uh, in description type of information and in partner information uh, partner number and port number and uh, partner type also mention here uh, this uh, control data is uh, uh, stored in edidc table and uh, data uh, second one is uh, data records data records uh, is uh, stored in uh, is uh, in uh, all segment data is stored in data records segment is nothing but actual data what is the sender or receiver send uh, data actually is stored in segments segments there are two types of segments one is parent segment and uh, another one is child segment and uh, third uh, third uh, this uh, in uh, uh, this uh, data is stored in uh, edi d4 or dd and the last one is status record status records is uh, uh, tell about the status of the whether it is uh, success or failure of the uh, idoc actually the initial status of uh, number for inbound is 64 and outbound is 03 but the successful status is 53 and outbound is 16 and involved the idoc process uh, many teams are involved in creating the IDOC, uh, the FI functional functional guy and uh, app appers and uh, basis people and uh, PA and bank also. Uh, FI people involved in only creating a partner profile and basis people are involved in uh, creating of port RFC destinations and logical systems and app appers are uh, involved in segment creation. PA people are involved in checking the uh, uh, IDOC uh, status, whether uh, for, uh, correctly format, uh, correctly uh, formatted or not. Next. Uh, another, okay, sir. Uh, what is the, uh, okay, yes. Thank you. Okay, fine. Uh, see, uh, I need to correct some areas in the IDOC survey. Okay. Uh, not right because you guys are not prepared well. Okay. So at the time of uh, giving uh, mock test, I will tell you in which areas you are making mistakes. Okay. So no problem. Just to prepare next time. All right. So, uh, so this is enough. We will continue tomorrow, the next part.